now let's talk about the rising tide of global layoffs. Last year's tech-wide reckoning is not letting up and it's going beyond big tech. You already know this. Layoffs have been making headlines every other day. Only this week, many big firms joined the tide, including UBS, with the largest job cuts globally in the past six months. McDonald's, Walmart, Apple, and Highland Software. In the last six months, more than half a million employees have been sacked. Some are now staging walkouts. Others are taking buyouts. It has shaken the economy, which is already under pressure from central banks and fighting a high-stakes battle with inflation. There is a sharper risk of recession, which threatens even bigger job losses. It sounds like a vicious cycle, but this is what we have. Here's a report. The rush of layoffs began late last year, and it is not willing to stop. Since October, over half a million workers have been sacked, with over 50,000 jobs lost in one week in January alone. And right now, different companies are dealing with this in different ways. Let's look at General Motors. The auto company planned to lower staff numbers in a cost-cutting effort. Now, 5,000 of their white-collar employees have taken buyouts. This can help them avoid layoffs and also save the company $1 billion every year. Meanwhile, fast food chain McDonald's has no such genius plans. It is restructuring the company, which is corporate lingo for laying off people. And they're hiding behind closed doors, literally. McDonald's closed its U.S. offices this week while it prepares to tell employees about their fate. Employees are now working from home, waiting to know if they have been fired. But some workers elsewhere are not taking this lying down. Google plans to lay off 12,000 employees worldwide. That's about 6% of its global workforce. Now there's a dispute. Employees claim Google has rejected their proposals to reduce job cuts. And hundreds of workers have staged a walkout at the company's London offices. Just like they did at the Zurich offices of Google last month. I think what happened is not really fair. It could have happened in a different way. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit disappointing to see uh, a company that you believed in so much uh, handling, like managing people like that, like handling people like that. It's sad. You heard, you heard what he said? First and foremost, our praises, our power, our glory. To Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Our praises, our power, our glory. To Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father, who the world everyone calls God. Yahweh, meaning He exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai, who the world everyone calls Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai, meaning He delivers. He saves. Bahashem in the name. Rakaha Kodash. Spirit Holy. Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwatiam listening, listening and learning in sincerity and truth and in silence. Shalom. Akyam meaning brothers. Akwatiam meaning sisters. Shalom meaning peace be unto you. Shabbat Shema. From the Pillars of Benjamin camp here in Toronto is another lesson, right? But you heard what he said there, right? Ah. Uh, let's try and run it again. That's sad. I think they're missing out on some amazing brain. At the Zurich offices of Google last month. I think what happened is not really fair. It could have happened in a different way, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit disappointing to see uh, a company that you believed in so much uh, handling, like managing people like that, like handling people like. Disappointing to see a company that you believed in so much managing people like that, right? Because they trust in, in the system, man. You know what I mean? And that 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 that's a soundbite from from Zurich, which is in Switzerland, right? And Google and Google London and Google Zurich, right? Great layoffs, global companies, right? McDonald's, Walmart, Google, right? But it's a worldwide thing, right? And 
two thirds of our people trust in the beast, right? Isaiah 30. Isaiah 30, verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord Yahweh. All right, the rebellious children, two thirds of our people, that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with the covering but not of my spirit, right? And Jake's in everything except for, for Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Jake's out here saying he's a, an American. Jake out here saying he, he's from Switzerland, he's from Germany, he's from London. Jake out here saying he's Baptist, he's Lutheran, he's do as thou wilt, he's YOLO, right? Cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, right? Jake's out, Jake out here, Jake is out here, two thirds, being a brute beast, adding sin to sin, iniquity. Verse two, that go down into Egypt, Spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom, which is America, spiritually. And have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Right? They don't seek the Lord. Right? They seek to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Pharaoh being a ruler, a king. Symbolic of a ruler or a king. Right? The, the, the governments of America, the great Babylon, the great, the politicians, the Congress... Right? Strengthen themselves. Right? Jake depends on his, his, his 401k. Jake depends on his 9 to 5. Esau's paycheck. Uh, Jake, Jake depends on his college degree. He, 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 place, he places uh, 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 value in his college degree. His, uh, his rank in Esau's workforce. Right? Jake Woman, Section 8, food stamps, welfare system, right? Esau's titty. To strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt, to trust in the shadow of Egypt, shadow being philosophy. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame Right? The strength of Pharaoh. Right? Their, 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 their system that they have set up. Their stimuluses. Right? The, the workforce. The, 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 the jobs. The Most High is doing away with all of that, man. These layoffs are just the, 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 the beginning. Right? Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow, the philosophy, of Egypt, America, your confusion ultimately leading into the CHIP, the grain of rice, right? You starve Babylonians for long enough. You put that, you put Babylonians in a destitute, woe was me, don't know what to do situation. You kill off enough of the Babylonians. That's what these elites are doing. They're going to they're gonna kill off their own people, starve them, plague, pestilence, Marburg. The emic, the avian, all of that. Right? These Babylonians are going to make their population beg. And then what are they going to do? Bring a CBDC. And then what's that going to do? Set, the, the, set, set up the introduction of the grain of rice. The Revelation 13 verse 16 on down. The sea hip. Right, and these people in this in this uh interview, they look uh confused and ashamed. Like any people like that. It's sad. I think they're missing out on some amazing brains and some amazing minds. But suddenly, just think, what's the point? This could be me. It's just been a tick box exercise for the management. Um, we told them that if they didn't fix things, they'd like to see, like to see a lot of individual grievances, um, and that's happened. It, it's been very badly handled for a company that once had its strap line of "Don't be evil." Uh, you know, it's been pretty evil in the way they've treated the staff. They didn't need to do this. Layoffs are mounting across industries. 
the UBS Group is a recent addition. It plans to lay off 36,000 workers, making it the company with the largest job cuts globally in the past six months. This is coming on the heels of the Silicon Valley bank collapse. It happened last month and sent shockwaves through the economy, which has already been shaken by mass layoffs. And UBS is one of the 760 firms who have participated in mass layoffs. As imagined, the tech sector has had the biggest losses, making up about a third of the total cuts. But the damage goes much beyond this industry. Layoffs have been seen in communications, financial, healthcare, and even real estate sectors. And this is happening at an odd time for the economy. The labor market is doing well. Unemployment has stayed low. There is uncertainty over recession, but companies overhired during the pandemic, and now the people must pay for it which leaves employees in a precarious position. Of our coworkers. Yeah, listen. This is just the beginning, man. Isaiah 19. Isaiah 19 verse 15. And it reads, Neither shall, they, neither shall there be any work for Egypt, right? America. Right? Joblessness is going to continue to grow. It's going to get to the point where there's no work out here. We're reading it. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. There ain't going to be no jobs out here, man. Grinding is ceasing. Ecclesiastes 12, right? Grinding is ceasing. Which the head or tail, head or tail. The suits. The white collar, the supervisors, the bosses, right? The head or tail, the, 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 the grunt workers, the labor pool. Right? The blue collar. Branch or rush may do, right? All levels of, 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 of job security is going to be thrown out the window. Verse 16, in that day shall Egypt, America, be like unto woman, right? Vibration of fear, vibration of weakness. And it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord, Yahweh, of hosts, hosts being armies, which he shaketh over, right? Because the Lord, the Lord is steadily going to increase his visitation. Ultimately leading to the missiles. Right? I wanted to grab one more. Luke. 21. Luke 21, verse 25. And there shall be signs. This is red letter. Our Lord said this. Yahweh Shai. And there shall be signs in the, in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. Right? Lunar eclipses, solar eclipses, blood moons. And upon the earth, distress of nations. Right? Those people that we saw in that news clip, they're distressed. With perplexity, I want to look at this word perplexity. The sea and the waves warring. Let's look at this word perplexity. 21 verse 25. Right? People are unsure. Perplexity, Strong's G, 640. Aporia, the state of one who is in perplexity. Quandary, perplexity, right? Aporia. 
the root word, aporeo, Strong's G639, to be without resources, to be in straits, right? Resources, to be in straits, a, a position of difficulty, to be left wanting, to be embarrassed, right? Those worker bees in that video, in that video clip, they looked embarrassed. To be in doubt, they looked like they were in doubt. Not to know which way to turn. To be at a loss with oneself, be in doubt. Not to know how to decide or what to do. To be perplexed, right? And this is coming on. This is coming on America the Great, Babylon the Great. This is coming on the world, right? Right, verse 26. Men's hearts failing them for fear. And for looking after the and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven, the rulership, shall be shaken. Right. But yeah, that's it on that, man. Just wanted to touch on that little news clip there, you know? But stay prayed up, prayed all ceasing. Shall warm to the hopeful elect.